Well, me and my wife and three kids were vacationing here about a year ago, and as we were vacationing and driving right out here on iDrive, we looked over and saw this massive structure going up. But it wasn't quite the structure you see behind you. It was actually just the, the framework leading to the axle. And we saw that, and I said to my wife, I wonder if there's an opportunity to do something here in Orlando. I'm born and raised in Sarasota, Florida, a resident of Florida, and very proud of my state. And uh, I've wanted to do something here for a while, and I thought this was a very cool, unique opportunity. Well, lo and behold, within a couple months, management from iDrive360 reached out, and they said, would you be interested in performing at our grand opening? Now, I didn't put two and two together at that point. I didn't know what they were referring to. So they said, would you come out with your team, check it out, and tell us if you have any ideas. And uh, I brought my team out here, and I believe they were thinking some sort of a wire walk, whether we put a crane here, I walk a wire to the center axle, something along those lines. Well, somebody trying to do it before me? <laughs> So, uh, um, anyways, a long story short, I, uh, I decided that, um, that we would do something spectacular and not just walk a wire, but walk on the rim of this wheel as it's moving. And uh, that was when everything kind of got set in motion and through a lot of uh, negotiating as far as, of course, liability issues and all that, which I, which I deal with day in and day out through the TV realm and every realm of what I do. Uh, we are here and on Wednesday morning, I plan on getting up top there and making that trip. How do you prepare for walking along the wheel of the eye? How do I prepare for walking on the wheel in the eye? Well, I've actually been training, of course, my most of you know, my entire life for walking on a wire. I started at two years old. In fact, you can back up further than that. My mom was six months pregnant with me and still walking the wire. My family history dates back to the 1780s. So for seven generations and over 200 years, we've been training for balance. This is a very unique walk, and that's why I'm excited to be here, to be able to do something a little different than what our family's done for over 200 years. I'll actually ride up to the top of the wheel in a capsule just like any normal guest would. However, when I get to the top, it'll stop, I'll get out of the capsule, I'll climb down a series of ladders, and which will end up on that rim, that big circular rim there. Once I get to that point, I will give my father a cue, my father will tell the operator to start that wheel moving, and I'll begin to walk as it's moving. For training, I've been training on a wire, five-eighths of an inch, without a balancing pole. Another unique aspect of this walk is the fact that normally, and in all my TV specials, you see me with a balancing pole. Well, because of that structure that's in the way, there's no way I can use a balancing pole. So this is the first time I'll be doing a public walk without a pole. So I've been training on a wire without a balancing pole. Some of the unique challenges here are the fact that I have to keep up with that wheel. So I've been training for pacing, making sure that I don't stop walking at a steady pace, approximately what I'll face here, actually a little faster so that I, I know that I have time. Uh, but also I have to duck under some of those structures. If you look at every cabin and halfway between them, there's a structure that actually drops down lower. So I'll actually have to work my way under those and continue to keep up, the, up with the wheel the entire time. The wheel is turning, it's spinning toward him at a distance of what, 30 meters or more? It's supposed to take three to five minutes or so and you can see he's outfitted with that GoPro camera right on his shirt. So we're getting the view that Nick is getting at this moment. He seems to be looking out and uh, taking a, a survey of what he's about to face. And we're looking at this from several different angles. One of those angles is from a helicopter. I want to make sure people understand it's a distance away using a telephoto lens. Take it slow, buddy. You tell me when you're ready to roll. All right, Dad, let's do it. A little windy. We're good. Okay, Nick, here we go. up here, Matt and Savannah? Uh, well, um, and really, and really wet. It's been raining a little bit off and on throughout the morning. Nick talked about that a second ago. So now as you can see, he's going from the top of one of those pods down a ladder where he'll get to the actual structure of the wheel itself. The wheel is turning. It's spinning toward him, and he will attempt to walk on that structure for a, a distance of, what, 30 meters or more? It's supposed to take three to five minutes or so, and you can see he's outfitted with that GoPro camera right on his shirt, so we're getting the view that Nick is giving at this moment. He seems to be Several different angles. One of those 
Buenos Aires is from a helicopter. I want to make sure people understand it's at a distance away using a telephone lens. Tell me when you're ready to roll. Oh, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to Okay, Nick, here we go. I love Florida and uh, I love Orlando. Of course, I love my hometown of Sarasota, but this is where I was born and raised and uh, I'm a Florida boy and proud of it. It is, uh, it's an honor again to be here. It's an honor to see all of you here. I said it the other day at the press conference, I wouldn't be who I am or where I am in life if it wasn't the support of all of you. So I just wanna thank uh, all the general public, but but really the media. You guys are amazing. You're so supportive of what I do. And hopefully through what we're doing together, we're inspiring people around the world to do greater things, to step out of their comfort zones, no matter where they are in life. So uh, again, thank all of you guys for being here. What an amazing feeling it was up there. Uh, the winds were probably 15 to 20 miles per hour, not overwhelming. Uh, the weather cooperated. I said it yesterday, we're gonna pray for good weather tomorrow. And uh, like God always does, he came through and we had uh, perfect weather for this event. It was wet. Uh, my shoes are soaking wet actually on the bottom of them, but it wasn't uh, too much for me to handle. So uh, again, just an amazing feeling. Another world record. I believe that's 10 that I have now. 
And uh, like the three words that I live by, and I'll leave you with those, um, my family's done it for over 200 years, and we will continue to never give up. So I encourage all of you to continue on and pursue your dreams and your passions, no matter what they are in life, even if they're unique, even if they're challenging, even if they seem impossible, and never give up. Thank you. Thank you, Nick.